Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about the difference between a Dragon Slayer and a Troll Slayer. I'll be discussing their pros and cons, difference in playstyle, and overall feel of the two. I like the gameplay of the Slayer class on the get-go. Beefy tunes with good sustained DPS is my ideal playstyle, and for me, it's the best way to survive in the environment the game provides. Okay, to start it off, I'll be talking about the Dragon Slayer. With a quick glance, it's obvious to say that the Dragon Slayer leans more on the DPS side compared to the Troll Slayer. And yes, this is correct. Dragon Slayer's pros lies within the unique skills you get from choosing this path. Take note that both classes rely on Doom. Doom is basically the damage received by the, by the Slayer which is converted into damage over time instead of actually dealing damage to you instantly. On the Dragon Slayer side, Doom works as its source of damage. Even if it's constantly dealing damage to yourself, the skill guided by Doom makes the Dragon Slayer deal more normal attack damage the more Doom stacks it has. Another pro of being a Dragon Slayer is its kit that revolves around health regeneration and heal on hit abilities. So the more you attack your enemies, the more you heal. And healed HP is based on the damage inflicted. It's more like a lifestyle really. DPS wise, the Dragon Slayer gets the edge against the Troll Slayer. It's easily because of its burst skills. The Dragon Slayer has a higher damage ratio than the Troll Slayer as damage calculation of its skills are based off on weapon skill and focus stats. Focus, if you don't know already, is like an attack stat that gives a little boost in your damage dealt like weapon skill stat. The cons of this class is that it's a pseudo tank class. That's in between an assassin and a tank class, which means you don't do tremendous burst damage like an assassin, nor you can't tank a group of mobs like a warrior priest. And of course, every non-magic user class's con would be the lack of MP to cast skills left and right. Which means you As for playstyle, the Dragon Slayer is great solo and good in a group. Being an off-tank-ish class makes his kit of obtaining Doom stacks not viable, as you will usually have a Warrior Priest to tank in a group. Unless you are a very tanky Dragon Slayer. But still, whatever he lacks in groups, he excels being a solo tune. Overall feel for this tune from 1 to 10 in my opinion is around 8. The class is well balanced for solo play and you won't have a hard time grinding solo. And now we go to the Troll Slayer. This subclass in a glance would be your beefier version of the Slayer class tree. Its pros would be its way of eliminating its doom stacks and skills that reduces doom efficiently. Hence, makes it a tankier version of the Slayer class. Don't mistake this class for having a wet tissue for an axe because the Troll Slayer can also dish out excellent DPS. The only major difference between the Troll Slayer and the Dragon Slayer would be having a single weapon compared to the Dragon Slayer. Having only one weapon means having less stat slots and overall power. You know those stats that says skill, weapon skill or focus? Just means that he'll have less of that. But on closer inspection to a great axe, it seems the base stats are higher compared to those of the Dragon Slayers. Now, this small difference isn't a make or break factor. While the Troll Slayer falls a little behind on the Dragon Slayer DPS, it makes it up for extreme tankiness. Being able to basically nullify Doom stacks while inflicting burst attacks makes the Troll Slayer a strong competitor. For the Troll Slayer's cons, it would be like the Dragon Slayer's. The lack of ability to keep spamming abilities due to lack of MP. And I think that's it. Other than that, I don't see any other factors that can make you hate or dislike the Troll Slayer class. For playstyle, the Troll Slayer can excel in both group or solo. Being tanky and having taunt skills means you are needed to be a meat shield in groups. And for solo, you are tanky enough to slow grind anything, basically. Being blessed to have wound stat as a source of damage worked very well. Not only it increases your HP, it also contributes to your attacks.
In my opinion, the overall feel for the Troll Slayer from 1 to 10 is 9 to 9.5. I really enjoy this class and I feel like it's very overpowered at the moment. Well, that's it on my Dragon Slayer vs Troll Slayer video. I hope this guide was helpful. See you soon!